Is your flat Mac choking up your Skype call? Well, you can choke the Mac, or you can fix all that at once by setting up quality of service on your router firmware. So today, I'll show you how to set up quality of service, but considering how every router has a different interface, I'll show you the steps for the three most popular ones, that is TP-Link, Netgear, and DDWRT. After watching this video, you'll be able to effectively set up quality of service on any router firmware. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. In general, without the quality of service, if you're on a Skype conference call with your boss and your roommate starts downloading a big file, the quality of your Skype call can drop drastically. However, once you set up quality of service on your router, your router can prioritize certain applications and services, for example, like Skype call and Netflix, over other less important things such as browsing and torrents. Before you proceed to set up quality of service on your router, make sure you have two things figured out. One, set up clear goals. Quality of service rule can be applied on both servers and devices on your network, so make sure you have clear goals before you begin. Number two, your connection speed. Almost every quality of service setup will ask you about your upload and download speed during the setup, so make sure you have that ready. Do not rely on your advertise speed by your ISP Test it manually by using sites like speedtest.net. Once you have these two figured out, you're ready to set up quality of service on your router. Let's start with the entry level TP Link router. Open a web browser and in the address bar type in http tp link wi fi.net or 192.168.1.1 and log in with the username and password you set up for the router. The default username and password both are admin. Next, look for quality of service option, usually it's under the advanced options, so go to advanced, QoS or quality of service, and then settings. Select enable quality of service checkbox. Now you need to set the quality of service rules. You can either do it with service or devices on your network, but the problem with the entry level router is the lack of control and customization options. In the application, you can choose from protocols like IMCP, DNS, DHCP, but there is no option to choose from. For example, BitTorrent uses TCP, which is the same protocol used by web browsing. So if you set low priority to TCP packets, it'll also affect my regular web browsing. And I don't want to do that, which is why it's recommended that you get a mid-range router if you want to set up good quality of service. Now let's check the quality of service option on a mid-range Netgear router like R7000. Log into your router by typing in www.routerlogin.com or the router's IP address. Just enter username as admin and password as password. Once you're in, you need to look for quality of service option. Now some routers like our Netgear R7000 also offers dynamic quality of service option, which when enabled, will automatically monitor and control the network usages. For example, if someone's watching Netflix on an iPad and others are watching it on a big TV, your router will automatically prioritize TV as it needs more bandwidth. Similarly, it'll automatically prioritize Skype call over other streaming. So if you have such options on your router, you can turn it on as well. For the rest of you, you can manually set up quality of service rules by clicking on advanced option Next, enter your internet speed. You can either enter it manually or take speed test. The speed test value should be 80 to 90%, the value you got with your speed test. If you use values equal or larger than the maximum capacity of your connection, then you give the quality of service handler no wiggle room and the system becomes significantly less effective. Next, you can add rules either by service, like Skype over gaming, or devices, like work PC over streaming devices. So select it under the app and the rules. Similarly, I want torrents to be on low priority. So I can do the same for it, but this type of priority will be low. Though do remember, low priority doesn't mean your torrents will always get low internet speed. So instead, your torrents can have all the bandwidth when the network is idle, but when things are busy, it only gets 20 to 30% of the available bandwidth. Overall, it's pretty simple to set up quality of service this way, but there are limitations. For example, I can't set up specific internet speed to my devices or pick up services like Netflix. For most routers, quality of service settings are pretty basic. 
So if you're looking for an advanced quality of service, you can flash custom firmware like DDWRT or Tomato onto your router. Here's how it looks like in DDWRT setup. First, open your router's admin page. Once you're logged in, select the NAT slash quality of service tab. Then, the quality of service tab. First, select enable next to the start QoS or quality of service. Leave the port set to WAN. Leave the packet scheduler and queuing discipline set to the default state. Fill in the downlink and uplink values. Though, here's a cool thing. If you want everyone on your network to have low internet speed, set up the uplink and downlink to one megabits per second and restart your router. Now, if you check the internet speed, it should be extremely slow. The speed test value should be 80 to 90%, the value you got with your speed test, which is 30 megabits per second in my case. Now, in DDWRT, you get robust quality of service options. Under the service priority, you can see all kinds of options that you can customize. For example, if you want to prioritize Netflix over less bandwidth sensitive things, you would first select the service from the drop down menu as shown below and click add next. Similarly, you can use Mac priority options to prioritize traffic on your work computers using the Mac address. Simply enter it into the Mac priority section. Click add and then assign a priority to the device as we've done in the previous sections. I like this method because regardless of what IP address your router assigns, you can ensure your work laptop will always get priority. Overall, QoS or quality of service is a really cool yet underutilized tool for your router. You know what else is underutilized? Setting up a VPN on your router. So go check out our video on how to set up VPN on your router. You're welcome, internet. Also check out SmartDNS Proxy if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, or even Amazon Prime Video. As always, if you like this video, click that subscribe button. And if you didn't, well, you hurt my feelings. I'm Vanzi, thanks for watching. Bye for now.